This video is about level shifting a signal using a op amp. And we'll start by looking at the scope. Let's say you have a um, sinusoidal signal, for example, that is symmetric around zero. That's the uh, pink line shown here. And what you're interested in is um, shifting the signal so that you get something like this, um, where the signal has been shifted up or down relative to the original signal. Um, in this case, for example, you want the minimum value to be zero rather than some negative value so that all the values of the signal are, all, are positive. Um, there are a lot of reasons to do that. We won't get into that. But in any event, let's talk about how this is achieved. So we'll look at the... Um, let's talk about what, what I've got here on paper first. This is a setup on a breadboard. We'll go through that in a second. So this is uh, level shifting with an op amp. I'm using an NE5532 dual supply, low noise op amp. Uh, the pins are shown there. And then I've got it in a non-inverting um, configuration. Um, we're feeding plus and minus nine volts in. That allows us to have either a positive or negative shifting um, of the signal. In this case, this, this op amp is a dual supply, so you can feed it positive and negative voltages. Output out of pin one, feedback through a trim pot, and then off to ground, and that feedback goes into pin two. And then the original signal here is a sinusoidal, symmetric about zero. That's coming in, also going through a trim pot, and the signal goes into pin three, the non-inverting input. And we're also feeding in a steady DC voltage. Um, I think we're giving it two volts in this case. That gets mixed, those two signals get mixed through this trim pot, as I said, into uh, pin three. Um, I'm using 2K trim pots for this, but uh, the values are not that important. It's just use the same size for both, and then um, we'll be able to adjust those trim pots and see what happens to the signal as a result of that. I want to give credit to um, Simply Put YouTube channel for this. Um, he's the one that gave me the idea, but I wanted to um, I wanted to try it myself on the scope and on the breadboard and see what, what happens when we adjust those trim pots and et cetera. Um, so what we have here is the NE5532 op amp. Pin one is in the upper right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we're taking positive voltage into pin eight, negative voltage into pin four. Um, the signals coming in or coming in over here, we've got the yellow line is bringing in the uh, sinusoidal signal. This blue line is bringing in the uh, plus two volts mixed through this um, trim pot and then into uh, pin three on the op amp. And then there's the feedback loop um, out of pin one through the trim pot off to ground or through the center um, return line back into pin two, which is the feedback. Um, okay, back to the scope. We'll look at what happens here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, just show how we adjust the um, offset itself, the level shift, if you will. And that's by using that uh, trim pot on the left, shown in that diagram. So if I turn both of these trim pots to zero, What's happening is the two signals, the input and the output, are equivalent. So back to the diagram. If I turn, if I turn both of these to zero, basically, um, the wiper comes to here, so we're seeing just the signal in, and the wiper comes to here, so we're seeing just the output signal return. So the output is equal to the input. And there's no amplification. Um, and then if we adjust this trim pot, what we're doing is we're putting more voltage from the steady supply in. So our wave then gets, our input uh, voltage gets bumped up. Therefore the output voltage needs to be bumped up. And um, that's how we get the level change. Um, and then the amplification comes from moving this wiper across the trim pot uh, on the feedback line. So here again, we'll just, we'll just take a look at that. 
So first I'll move the level set trim pot so that we get to zero. And then I'll move the other pot. And now we can amplify the signal. The actual um, offset voltage is shown here in blue. So we're feeding in uh, all of these um, start from zero down here along the pink line. So we're feeding in just a steady DC two, two volt um, um, to try to give it uh, the voltage that we can use to offset. And um, we could change that to a negative, for example, if we wanted to offset uh, the, the signal below the zero line. Um, but you can see how nicely this works. You can adjust the minimum value independent of the amplification or reduction in the signal. So that's how it works. It doesn't involve much in terms of components. Uh, it works very nicely. In this particular um, op amp, uh, that works up to you know kind of audio frequencies, so it's not going to work at uh, megahertz frequencies. You'd have to use a different op amp designed for higher frequencies for that. Um, but um, I think the arrangement would be exactly the same. It's just you need an op amp that supports the frequency range that uh, uh, you want to use it for. So that's it. Thank you for watching.